Hello and welcome to my video about how to create a bi-weekly project status report with Project 2013 and Excel. We will create a report like this with a header, the timeline view, a brief summary, completed tasks, activities in progress, upcoming milestones, updates, updates to risk log, and updates to issue log. So let's get started here with the timeline. So let's go to the project plan and then click in view and timeline. Okay, the timeline will come empty and to add the tags, just click in the edit timeline and then click in format, existing task. So you can select here the tags that you want to show. Usually it's just the milestones. Okay. So let's take a screenshot with the snipping tool. Click in new, this was already saved. So New. New. Okay, and select what you want to paste in Word. Okay, that's good. Edit and copy. Okay, let's go to Word. And paste. Okay, that was the timeline view. Now, completed task. Okay, for the com completed task, we will use the filter completed task. So here we have filter completed task. And now go to tables and cost. So here, uh, these graphical indicators you will have in your own project. To create these graphic indicators, you need to see my video on how to create a stop like view using Project 2013. I explained there how I created the graphic indicators. So basically, we will have a green light when we have a cost variance from 0 to 10%. We have yellow light from uh, 10 to 20 percent, and more than 20 percent will display red. So we will do the graphic indicators in Excel. Okay, so let's select this, copy and paste in Excel. Okay, so we will convert this number to graphic indicators in Excel. So to do that, go to conditional formatting and then icon sets and select here the stop like this. stop like sorry and go again to conditional formatting and manage rules. So then click in edit rule and first change here for number, uh -huh. number and here change here to less than and here put 20 and here put 10 and click in reverse icon, ok, apply. Okay, so as you can see now, it's showing the light as we want according to the values that we want. And let's just take out the number that it doesn't look really nice. So just manage rule and show icon only. Okay, okay. So this table is the same than this one. I just uh, did the formatting. So let's just copy this um, this table and just paste here. Okay. 
here in Word. And for the activities in progress, oh, and here you have to paste as a picture because if not, it won't display the graphic indicators. Okay, for the activities in progress, sorry, we go again to a project and then um, we will use the filter, more filters, and here in progress, apply. Okay, so basically do the same thing. Just copy cell and in Excel. Mm -hmm. Here I already did, it's exactly the same thing that I did uh, with the completed task. The only thing that I changed here is in conditional formatting, the icon sets. Uh, you can select different ones, as you can see there, they have like a, um, different um, figures that you can use. So I just change it for this one. So let's just um, copy paste the table. Again as an image. And for the upcoming milestones here in project there is one already done. Go to report in progress milestone report. Just copy paste this table here. I already did. And for the update to read log and issue log, uh, here um, you can do it if you want or from my website, Diana Vido's website. Just go to resources. And here I have the read log. You can just copy paste from here to Excel or um, I have also the issue log. Uh -huh. Or if you don't want to use uh, my template, you can just Google for um, a different issue log and you just can create the table in Excel, any one that you like here and paste basically in Word. Basically these are uh, my own templates. So that is basically how can you, uh, how you can create a bi-weekly project report using Excel and um, project. I hope you like the video and thank you for watching.